Hello everyone, this is me Yaman Kumar and this is the next video on the course way to see programming. Please like, subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can get the notification whenever we post the new video. In this video we will be discussing about the looping statements. So first of all, what are the looping statements? In a programming it is often necessary to repeat the same block of code a given number of times or until certain condition is met. In programming we need to repeat some task. Whenever we need to repeat some task, we will use loops. So, whenever we, we need to repeat the same block of code, there is some block of code and we need to execute it again and again. So, we will use loops. Loop control statement in C and C++ are used to perform looping operations until the given condition is met. So, there will be one termination condition which will tell us when the loop will terminate, when we have to stop repeating the process. Control comes out of the loop statement once condition becomes false. So there will be a condition till the condition is true, we will execute the block. When the condition will become false, we will stop doing the things. So we will see the loops. First of all, there is a while loop. What is a while loop? We will see a while statement execute a block of code if and as long as a specified condition evaluates true. So there is there is a block and this block is executed till some condition is true there is a block this will be executed till some condition is true when this condition is false this block we will come out of this block if the condition become false the statements within the loop stop executing <coughs> and control passes to statement following the loop so when the condition become false we will stop executing this block and we will come out of the block and start executing the statement after the loop while loop syntax is as follows so what is the syntax of while loop while here the condition will come the condition can be any expression and here single statement or block of statements will come this is the flow diagram so how the control will work first of all see this condition is, is checked first of all this condition will be checked if this condition is true, if the condition is true, then conditional code will execute. This conditional code will execute. If condition is true, this conditional code will execute. After executing this conditional code, again we are again we are checking the condition. If say again a condition is true, again we will execute this block and this process repeats till the condition is false. Whenever the condition will false, so we will come out of this block. Whenever this condition is this condition or this expression is false, we will come out of this block. In place of condition, there can be any valid expression. We can have any valid expression in place of this condition. So as long as expression evaluates a non-zero value, as we discussed earlier, also non-zero value means true and zero means false. Till the expression evaluates non-zero value, the loop will continue to its execution whenever the expression evaluates zero means false we will stop executing the block the condition being tested may be used use relational or logical operators this expression can be can used any any mathematical operation or logical operation like and or any operation can be used the statements within loop may be single line or block of statements and the statement within the loop this statement can be a single statement or block of statements for single line braces are optional if there is a single line after the loop then this block is optional this braces are optional this is same as in if also we have discussed this thing in if also if there is single line after while loop then this braces are optional so this is an example of the loop we will write this program and execute this program in dev c++ so this is the program and we will execute this program the output is 1 2 3 4 5 so output is 1 2 3 4 5 first of all we have included the header files this is the starting point of the program so this is the block of our program int i is equal to 1 we declared a variable i whose value is 1 now while i less than equal to 5 so this loop will execute till the value of i is less than 5 less than or equal to 5 currently value of i is 1 1 less than equal to 5 true so we will enter inside the loop the statement is printf print a value 5 value 5 is 1 now i plus plus now the value 5 will become 2 
now value of i will become earlier i was 1 now i will become 2 again the condition will be checked 2 less than equal to 5 yes again print the value of i that is print 2 and increment i now value will be 3 3 less than equal to 5 yes come inside the loop print the value and increment i so 4 same will happen with 4 4 less than 5 less than equal to 5 true print this value 4 and increment value 5 means 5 5 less than equal to 5 yes print this value i plus plus means 6 6 less than equal to 5 now the condition is false so we will come out of the loop and program will stop its execution so after a while after a while suppose one statement is here so now this statement will print see this output so the statement after while will print when i will be 6 the condition is false so the statement after the while loop is this printf statement this printf statement will this printf welcome to way to way tag will be printed on the screen so while loop is very simple loop just we have tried the condition in while and uh, till the condition is true the block will execute whenever the condition is false block will stop its execution so these type of expressions are also true because while loop accepts the expression over here so we can write any mathematical or any valid expression so x minus minus this is also a valid expression x is equal to x plus 1 this is also a valid expression while of x plus equal to 5 this is also a valid expression these all are possible in while loop whenever this x minus minus x is equal to x plus 1 x plus equal to 5 will evaluate to 0 whenever these expression will evaluate to 0 means it is false the loop will stop its execution till these are evaluating the non-zero values the loop will be true so we loop, loop will be working thanks for watching the video this is our facebook page www.facebook.com slash way to white attack and this is uh, this is my facebook id fb slash aman kumar 29 please like subscribe and share the video do comment in comment section if you have any doubt these are, are two books way to c and c plus plus and way to web designing uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get the notification whenever we post the new video thanks for watching the video thanks and have a nice day